Hello and welcome to this video where we will explore the biblical accounts of three people who never died. Yes, you heard that right. There are three groups of people in the Bible who did not experience death, but were taken to heaven in a miraculous way. Who are they and what can we learn from their stories? Let's find out. The first person who never died is Elijah. Elijah was a prophet of God who lived in the 9th century BC. He was sent by God to confront the wicked king Ahab and his wife Jezebel, who led the people of Israel into idolatry and worshipped the false god Baal. Elijah performed many miracles by the power of God, such as bringing fire from heaven, multiplying food, and raising the dead. He also challenged the prophets of Baal to a contest on Mount Carmel, where he proved that the Lord is the true God and Baal is nothing. But Elijah's life was not easy. He faced persecution, opposition, and threats from his enemies. He sometimes felt lonely, discouraged, and afraid. He even asked God to take his life at one point. But God did not abandon him. He comforted him, strengthened him, and spoke to him in a gentle whisper. He also revealed to him his plan for his departure from the earth. One day, God told Elijah that he was going to take him to heaven by a whirlwind. He also told him to anoint his successor, Elisha, who would continue his prophetic ministry. Elijah obeyed God and went to find Elisha. He asked Elisha what he wanted from him before he left. Elisha asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit, meaning that he wanted to inherit his authority and power as a prophet. Elijah said that this was a hard request, but if Elisha saw him when he was taken away, he would receive it. Elijah and Elisha then traveled together to the Jordan River. Elijah took his cloak and struck the water with it. The water parted and they crossed over on dry ground. As they were walking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated them. Elijah was taken up by the whirlwind into heaven. Elisha saw this and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. He then picked up Elijah's cloak and used it to part the water again. He returned to the other prophets, who recognized that the spirit of Elijah rested on Elisha. What can we learn from Elijah's story? We can learn that God is faithful to his servants, even when they face difficulties and challenges. He protects them, provides for them, and prepares them for their destiny. He also rewards them with his presence and glory. Elijah did not die, but was taken to heaven by God. He experienced a taste of the eternal life that God promises to those who love him. The second person who never died is Enoch. Enoch was a descendant of Adam and the great-grandfather of Noah. He lived in the seventh generation from Adam, before the great flood that destroyed the wicked world. He was a righteous man who walked with God and pleased him. He also had a prophetic gift and spoke about the Lord's coming judgment. The Bible does not tell us much about Enoch's life, but it tells us something remarkable about his departure. In Genesis 5 verse 24, it says, Enoch walked faithfully with God, then he was no more, because God took him away. In Hebrews 11 verse 5, it says, By faith Enoch was taken from this life, so that he did not experience death, he could not be found, because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. Enoch did not die, but was caught up and taken to heaven by God. He did not see death, but was translated into the presence of God. He was one of the few people who escaped the curse of sin and death that came upon humanity after the fall of Adam and Eve. He was also a witness of God's grace and holiness in a corrupt and evil generation. What can we learn from Enoch's story? We can learn that God is pleased with those who walk with him and obey him. He delights in those who seek his face and follow his ways. He also honors them with his favor and blessing. Enoch did not die, but was taken to heaven by God. He enjoyed a close relationship with God that transcended the limitations of this world. The third group of people who never died are the Christians in the end times. These are the people who have faith in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They believe that Jesus died for their sins, rose from the dead, and ascended to heaven. They also believe that Jesus will come back again to judge the living and the dead, and to establish his kingdom on earth. The Bible tells us that when Jesus returns, there will be a great event called the rapture. This is when the dead in Christ will rise first, and then the living believers will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. They will not taste death, but will be transformed in an instant. Their mortal bodies will be changed into immortal bodies, and they will be with the Lord forever. The rapture is described in 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 to 17, which says, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven, with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. The rapture is also mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 51 to 52, which says, Listen, I tell you a mystery, we will not all sleep, but we will all be changed, in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. The rapture is a glorious hope for the Christians in the end times. They will not die, but will be taken to heaven by the Lord. 
they will not face the wrath of God that will be poured out on the earth during the tribulation. They will also participate in the marriage supper of the Lamb and the reign of Christ. What can we learn from the rapture? We can learn that God has a wonderful plan for His people, who are called by His name. He has prepared a place for them in His house, where they will see His face and share His joy. He has also promised to come back for them and take them to Himself. He will fulfill His word and keep His covenant. He will not leave them nor forsake them. These are the three people who never died in the Bible, Elijah, Enoch, and Christians in the end times. They have something in common, they all had a special relationship with God, and they all experienced a supernatural departure from the earth. They also point us to the ultimate person who never died, Jesus Christ. He is the one who conquered death and gave us eternal life. He is the one who said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. John 11 verses 25 to 26. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and interesting. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to leave your comments and questions below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, God bless you.